Hello there. Welcome to Anybody Can Code C++ series. So if you are new to this series, you can click on the card that's above to check out our previous videos. Hi guys, welcome to the ABC series of C++ from Facebook. So in this particular video, uh, I will be discussing certain things related to arrays and strings. So in the previous video, I, I hope you have uh, seen like there, there were a lot of constraints, right? So we were not able to discuss things on how to take in a lot of inputs in bulk and operate things in bulk. But we had discussed uh, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, conditional statements in the previous video. So if you have not watched the previous video, do have a look at it and come back to this one so that you'll have a clear cut uh, continuum. So as I told, uh, we'll be discussing things in arrays and uh, strings. So what are arrays? What are strings? How do you take the inputs in bulk? How do you operate with the inputs in bulk? So I'll be telling you in detail uh, so that you'll be able to understand, right? So as I told, arrays and strings. So there are three parts uh, when it comes to arrays. Okay, so uh, there is something called as declaration of an array, initialization of an array, and finally the usage of the elements of the array. But for starters, what exactly is an array? So I believe you have understood the data types and variable concepts, right? So if you have not understood that, we have got that uh, a video as well in the series. I do have a look at it. So uh, arrays are nothing but collection of a similar type of data types. Okay. So let's say I've got uh, a lot of integers and I want to just, uh, you know, store them side by side. So what I'll do is I'll use integer type of array. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll be, instead of using A, B, C, D uh, till Z, okay, I'll be using A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, A of 3, so on and so forth. Okay, so the, they are nothing but arrays. So as I told, there'll be three parts, okay? So let me just take you across to all the three parts. So the first part is uh, array declaration. So how do you declare uh, uh, the array? Okay, whatever type you want. So you can see on the screen over here, uh, you've got uh, first, this is the syntax case, the line over here, what you can see is the syntax. So first you're supposed to write the, the date, data type of the element, what you want to store in the array. And then you have to write the array name. You can write any uh, name you want. And then the size of the array is supposed to be mentioned inside the square brackets and a semicolon, right? So you've got an example over here. So integer type of data I want to store in the array name called as ARR and I want to store 10 such different integer types. Okay, I'm sorry, 10 such different integer elements uh, inside this particular array called as ARR. And I've got a semicolon, which is really, really important, right? So this is called as declaration. So if you want, uh, uh, you can also have a, a floating type of array. So you can write over here float, and then you can have any name, let's say uh, decimal as a name, and you can have size, let's say 100, and then a semicolon again. Okay, you can also store, uh, you know, character types uh, uh, inside the array. Okay, you'll have to give uh, the data type uh, as char, that is uh, char, and then uh, write a, a given name, whichever you want, and you can have a size, whichever is specific or necessary for you, and a semicolon, right? So this is a basic declaration of an array, guys. And the next step, what we have is uh, initialization of an array. So once you have uh, declared an array, how do you initialize uh, uh, you know the array right so let's say i give uh, int arr of 10 which means that i've got 10 variables okay or 10 uh, vacant uh, places for my integer values to be filled okay and i'll be filling let's say 25 45 41 12 78 46 so on and so forth till 49 okay so this is called as initialization so inside that particular 10 variables what i've created i'm inserting these values Okay, whatever is required for me and I'll be put, uh, you know, writing them across in a, a flat bracket or brace bracket. Okay, this is called as array initialization. So if you want to, you know, uh, visually understand, like if you want to uh, imagine how it looks, okay, or how it uh, uh, gets fitted in inside the array. So I've got this uh, representation over here. So you can see the, uh, the uh, there are two rows over here. The first row uh, is the actual element of the array, or you can call it as members of the array. And the second row, these are the indices of the array, right? So you've got uh, a zeroth index, and then you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five till nine. So you can see uh, the array indices, they start from zero and end up uh, with uh, the size, the actual size minus one. So the size what I had taken is a 10, right? But here I've got indices only till nine. 
that is because i had started from a zero and in this starting uh, uh, index that is a of zero okay this is called as a of zero okay i've got 25 so 25 comes and sits over here next comes 45 then 41 so so on and so forth till 49 right now uh, i have not declared 10 elements over here right so i have not declared a b c till you know uh, such 10 things but i've just said that i want a r r and i want 10 cabinets or i want 10 variables of a r r so i've got 10 variables called as a of 0 till a of 9 and all these elements have just initialized inside that particular element just like how you used to initialize uh, int a is equal to 5 and uh, int b is equal to 10. I've initialized all these things accordingly. That's it. Right. Now, let me just take you across to the platform and tell you how exactly it works, guys. Okay. So, I'll just uh, uh, try declaring certain things over here. So, uh, I'll take uh, initial uh, integer type. Okay. You can name the array anything. So, uh, I'll just uh, name it as base. Okay. You can name that also. So, I'll uh, initialize the size as uh, 10 okay and uh, that's it okay so let me just write this later so you can see over here i've taken the integer type of uh, variable what i want my array name is face now okay and i want uh, 10 such spaces okay and i'll be initializing uh, uh, certain numbers over here okay how do i initialize let's say uh, i'll be initializing it as uh, uh, 45 okay, let me just not take 10 i'll just take 4 okay or five okay i'll be getting five spaces so 45 is one number 78 will be one number 89 will be one number and please remember guys you're supposed to give a comma over there or the compiler will not understand which is uh, the next uh, number 100 is the last number so all these elements are initialized inside the uh, face array okay now let's say i want to uh, you know access one of those uh, elements so i'll take face okay face uh, of one okay i want to print face of one so as i told the starting index will be storing the starting element that is uh, 45 so the starting index is zero yes correct so you'll have to remember that right so here i've got uh, 45 and then you've got uh, 78 which is at the first index right for uh, number one index okay I, uh, first index is a bit confusing right so i'll just use number one index this is number zeroth index okay number zero i mean number one index number two index number three index number four index so here i've taken a uh, face of one which means it has to go to number one index whatever value is stored in that particular index value of the array it is supposed to uh, uh, you know print that particular value so let's see what gets printed over here uh yeah 78 is being printed you can see on the output screen right so let me just drag it over here so you can see 78 is being printed so let's say i want to print 45 so 45 is at the zeroth index right so let me just uh, try running that particular uh, uh, thing so face of a zero i'm getting it as 45 let's say i want 100 so 100 is in the 0 1 2 3 4 fourth index right so let me just try to print that loan over here so i'll be getting the value as 100 right so that is how exactly you access the uh, you know numbers over here guys now let's say i want to add uh, 45 and 100 Okay, I want to add 45 and 100. So 45 is in the zeroth index. Uh, plus, I have got a uh, face of uh, 4, right? So 45 is in the zeroth index and 100 is in the fourth index. I will just try to, you know, add these uh, values. So 45 plus 100 it is supposed to give me 45. And yes, it is giving me a 45. Okay, you can do a lot of operations uh, based on these uh, array systems, guys. Now you can do this uh, uh, in terms of alphabets also. So as I told, if you want uh, alphabets, you'll have to give character uh, as the uh, data type. So I'll take character as a data type. Uh, I'll take simply A as the name of my array and I'll take it as uh, five. Okay, so here I'll be initializing uh, certain values. Let's say first one will be F, then A, then C, then E, and then a full stop. Okay, full stop is also a, a, a character, right? So I've stored all these things. And then let's say I want to access, uh, uh, you know, I just want to print the second alphabet. So how do I print the second alphabet? The array name is A and the second alphabet is stored in the index value one, right? So, and a semicolon. So let me just run this. So second alphabet is A. Let's say what it uh, uh, prints over here. Uh, okay. So there are a lot of 
okay f a c e was not declared okay so let me just stop try to slightly mend this okay the full stop okay semicolon is missing so uh, here the semicolon and uh, c out okay a of 1 and a semicolon over there as well now let's try to run it over here okay face was not declared in this scope oh okay so the problem here is guys if you uh, remember the data types of uh, uh, you know uh, video of ours i told you if you're initializing characters you're supposed to give inverted commas right so here we had missed that particular thing so that is why there were a lot of uh, uh, errors right so uh, let's just try to give inverted commas okay i've given inverted commas for all the things and say i want to uh, give a full stop also so let me just give a full stop okay so everything is done neat and tidy so let's run this now so now if i try to run this particular code i'll be getting a so you can see over here right so uh this is the simplest example that uh, you know you don't have to go on taking a lot of uh, uh, declaration of variables so uh, let's say i take uh, a of 10 okay i take a of 10 and uh, here i've just used uh, four five five boxes from 10 boxes or uh, 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 variables right so if i try to print a of six okay let's see what it says Okay, I've not initialized anything inside a of six. So it will not give me anything, right? Because I've not returned anything inside a of six. Okay, now let's say I'll be printing a of 11. Okay, the size what I've taken is 10, but I'll try to print uh, uh, something, uh, you know, beyond that. Okay, I'll try to print a of 11. Okay, it is uh, printing me a, a question mark. Okay, which means that uh, it is taking some values, which is a garbage value, which is stored somewhere else and it is printing it. Now let's try to print A of 100. Okay, I'm trying to run this. Okay, it is not printing anything. Let me just change uh, uh, this particular uh, data type to integer and uh, I'll try to take certain numbers over here. Let's say 1, comma uh, 2. Okay, now I'll try to print a of 100. So you can see it is giving me some random values, uh, which means that, uh, you know, memory uh, is is stagnant, right? So you, you cannot uh, magically break the memories and uh, uh, get some memories. So whatever is being stored in a of 100, okay, somewhere in the memory space, it is just printing it over there. Nothing related to our, uh, uh, you know, array allocation. So a of one, okay, now what is there in a of one? I've got two. So let's see what it prints. Yeah, it is printing me two. So I hope you have understood guys. Uh, this is basically a uh, 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 array system. And uh, what is string now? So string is, uh, uh, you know, that is nothing but collection of characters. So I'll just write a char a of uh, five. Okay, I'll take this as, uh, uh, you know, face okay so that will be f and then a comma then again a, a then a c okay then a e okay so this is what i've taken a semicolon i'll just require four and uh, i'll also take something called okay i'll just try to print this c out okay a of uh, uh one okay a of one I'll just try to uh, go on printing this particular st uh, statement or, or else I'll just try to print uh, sorry, a of uh, 1 and a of 2. So a and c will be printed over here, right? Let me just check that. I'll give a space in between, you know, to make things clear. Okay, space is given. So let's just check what happens over here. So a of 1 is uh, uh, a and uh, a of, okay, multiple things. Yeah, a of 1 is a, a of 2 is c, right? So let's just check what happens. Okay, so I'll be getting a and a c. So uh, I want to uh, do a lot of things. Let's say I, I take uh, a string variable, a string data type. Okay, once I've taken string data type, I'll name it as a. 
okay and inside this i'll be uh, initializing in double quotes facb okay so uh, if you remember the data type uh, uh, video i have told you right so if uh, you want to uh, give the string you'll, you'll have to give it in double quotes if you want to give the uh, same let me just take this as b if you want to take uh, characters you'll have to give it in single quotes right so i've taken double quotes for string i've taken single quotes for character now uh, first i'm printing uh, ac okay and i'll go to the next line so how do i go to the next line and l i hope you remember that right so then i'll be printing face okay let's just check what happens yeah so you can see over here this string data type okay is nothing but collection of characters okay so let's say i give ac over here so i give uh, a space c and a semicolon okay now let's try to run okay yeah, you can see here uh, both the statements they are printing uh, a and c uh, but the only difference is uh, here i have taken collection of characters and the second c out statement i have taken collection of uh, 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 you know uh, characters in a single uh, data type called as string but let's say i want to take uh, uh, you know multiple uh, inputs okay i want to take multiple inputs or you can see over here this is the same example i was trying to print all the characters of this particular array a right i had to give a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 so on and so forth if i have to uh, print all the characters of this particular array but are there any other things what i can do uh, to directly uh, you know print this particular array yes okay i can use something called as looping statements okay so in the next video we'll be discussing something called as looping statement guys or uh, con uh, flow controlling statements so uh, uh, till then i hope you have uh, understood uh, what arrays and strings are we'll be back with the next video with uh, uh, all the uh, you know control statements or looping statements okay till then hope you like the video do not forget to subscribe and do click on the bell icon so that you get notified when the further videos are released and also check out our instagram page and whatsapp broadcast services the links are in the description below